Hello everybody, what I thought I'd do is to make a better presentation on some occasionally tricky ones that can come up in trigonometry. This one is about conjoined triangles. So you can see I've got one triangle over here and another one over here, but they're joined along a, a vertical here. So let's see. We need to find all the unknowns, so we need to find the length of this angle x and we need to find this angle theta. So let's work out x first of all. So from our reference angle here, that side would be the opposite side. Opposite the right angle here would be the hypotenuse and down here would be the adjacent side right next to our reference angle. So we want to know the opposite and we know the hypotenuse. Opposite and the hypotenuse, that would probably be a sine of an angle. So let's see, sine of 41 is equal to the opposite side, which is x, we don't know, divided by 17. Now what we'll do is we'll times by 17 on both sides, because divided by 17 times by 17, they'll cancel out, and just leave us with the x. And 17 times sine of 41, we can plug into our calculator and it should tell us that x is equal to 11.153 meters. Okay, now I'll round that to 11.15 meters. Now, I need to work out theta next, so there's there's theta. Now let's see. I'll write in red for theta. Maybe black is better. Here's our reference angle here, straight across from our reference angle. Well, that'll be the opposite side. Straight opposite our right angle is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse will be 27. And down the bottom here next to our reference angle is the adjacent side. Now let's see here. I need to work out theta, and I know the opposite side. I just worked that out. That'll be x, and the hypotenuse is 27. So that'll be sine of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Theta I don't know, but the opposite I do know. I just worked it out before. And I'll use 11.153 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 27. Now I need to get rid of this sine theta. Now the opposite of a sine theta is an inverse sine. And if I do that to both sides, I keep the equation balanced. And I get rid of my sine theta, because that will cancel out with that. And just leave the theta open. Inverse sine of 11.153 divided by 27. I worked out to be 24.398. Now if I round that, I get 23.40. Alrighty, let's try the next one. Okay, what about if we have to find the perimeter for this triangle below? Well, the perimeter means the length around the outside, but I don't know the length of this side, so I'll call the length of that side x. And I don't know the length of this side, so I'll call that y. So let's see. X. Let me figure that out, and I'll put my working out for y over here. So for x, let's see. Straight across from my reference angle is the opposite side, and straight across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, and right next to my reference angle is the adjacent side. Now let's see. If I'm working out x, I want to figure out the opposite side, and I'll use the hypotenuse. The opposite and the hypotenuse is sine of theta. Now let's see. Theta is equal to 47. The opposite side I called x. And the hypotenuse is 31. Now let's see. Um, I need to get rid of this divided by 31. So I'll multiply by sine of 31 to both sides. Now I've done the same thing to both sides. That keeps the equation balanced and divided by 31 times by 31, they cancel 
and then there's x. Now, 31 times by sine of 47, I guess I can work that out, but I might just leave it the way it is, and I'll explain why in a second. Now, y. Okay, how do I work out y? Well, y is the adjacent side and the hypotenuse I still know. So, the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that would have to be cos of theta would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that would be cos of 47 is equal to y, the adjacent side, divided by 31. And again, I'll times by 31 on both sides. Now the 31 will cancel out there, and that'll leave me with y. 31 times by cos of 47. Now the perimeter is the length of all sides, so the perimeter in our case would be 31 plus, now this is the length of x, 31 times sine of 47 plus perimeter of this side here is 31 times cos of 47. Now you can put that all into your calculator in one step to save you doing a Doing it a number of different calculations, just do one and you should get 77.067 metres, which will round to two decimal places and say the perimeter is 77.07 metres. Alrighty everybody, hope that helps and I'll see you in class.